questions on that? While engaging this leg inward so that you don't overextend the knee. Put my feet exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So actually you found that when you were the student, your teacher was able to give you some helpful feedback. Come up into my core to, and brought my uh, ribs up, but then I realized I was doing that with my muscles, because as soon as she had me relax my shoulders, my ribs were like, back out. It's like, oh. <laughs> and what's funny, and it just dawned on me with what you were just saying, is that when you get the alignment right and the, the core, not even just the core strength, it's like the core strength is, is almost the relaxation of the core rather than the tightening of the core. And so when this got aligned and my hips were good and then I, I came up into the ribs and then in order to relax my shoulders, it wasn't a muscle thing, but it was actually, I relaxed my belly and my shoulders went, went down. I was like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's an excellent point, and it's, it's languaging that's hard to communicate when you're teaching because it's, we're actually not ever really talking about muscles. When the body's in the right position, the proper muscles that need to engage are going to engage. But we actually are wanting that softness. It's like when we get into the core, it's like that softness inside of ourselves and stability. And we don't want to over muscle at all. So that was an excellent point.